Ooh, okay. Right, so let's do some dailies. I honestly haven't touched Genshin a lot this week because I've been kind of busy. I haven't really had time to do dailies, so I'm a little bit behind, but it's okay. We'll live, you know. You can't play Genshin every single day of your life. Um, the new banner is sickening fun. What banner? Thank you. Oh, you're talking about the characters. Um, do, do you add people on Genshin? I do. Lost 25 comp matches today. Now I'm on silver one. You sound just like me, Fig. You're still higher than me if that makes you feel better. Hi, Lou on TikTok. Welcome. You can try, though. <laughs> it's giving fairy gym in Texas. Thank you. Um, Y'all know that I always dress myself as if I'm either a Pokemon trainer or a Final Fantasy character. And honestly, sometimes it's a little bit of both. Today I'm giving clay mixed with the um, mechanic. Hi, y'all. The mechanic from Final Fantasy 15, but all as a fairy type. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, I think I think what I want to do today is spend some resin on Miss Girl here. We're going to need to do this. So everybody meet up there. I guess you don't have to. I need to make... Um, I need to make crystal thingies tropixel yes uh, hi tropixel how are you the way people forget normal type is the original pink type <laughs> um i need to give me just a few i need to get um flies i don't know what they're called they need to call them flies leave it to me all of it whatever it <laughs> I'm so excited for the story today. Yeah, is it going to be good? I guess it will be. I wish the beard would show up better on um, my webcam. There's one thing that inspires... <laughs> you know it's really crazy. Someone was asking me yesterday, like, what are you going to do if you get to partner? And it's, like, not really much, like, difference. The only reason why I want things to grow is so that things can look better, you know? Like, I want to be able to get a better microphone and a better webcam, but considering where we started, I don't know if anybody saw the um, thing that I posted on my story today. Um, you know how TikTok lets you repost old videos that did well that day? Um, I posted something from one of our original playthroughs, and we have upgraded a lot, but the Capricorn in me, take a shot, um, oops, uh, that's a joke. Um, I say Capricorn all the time, but the Capricorn in me, just wants it even better. I want a better quality uh, webcam. I want a better quality microphone. <laughs> Pickled. It's good to hear that you're a good Tropixel. Hi, King. It's giving Boofalant. Thank you. I would definitely have a Boofalant on my team with this outfit. I'm almost done, guys. I'm just trying to... I told y'all I have not played Genshin all week. Um, trying to get my resin. Uh, what we're going to do... What I want to do is spend resin getting stuff at that dungeon and then i want to crack open like a little resin thingy get some more resin and see if we can knock out some weekly bosses and i think after that i don't know oh my god are you kidding me a regional clown like bufflant <laughs> hi cmv how are you yeah, the first girly pop lock. Y'all, um, so I'm I'm looking I was today I was looking into because yesterday we had a really good time. Am I good over there? Yes. Hi Tab. Tab, you're new um to helping. Welcome. Um I was looking into like custom matches for Fortnite. Is it possible to do like a zero build just like custom match with only girly pops playing? That would be really cool. Um But I had a really fun time playing Overwatch history. I'm trying so hard to Okay, we're just not getting stuff here because Nahida is a five-star character that people spend $500 on just to get, and you can't even level her unless you're in the... Okay. Okay. Um, there's another place I can go. Like, that's just so ridiculous. It was fun. Even though I've had Zhao since his release, I finally... Hold on, I have to focus. Girl, I am, like, so sick of these flies. Y'all told... People told me that if I use Nahida, they're not going to fly away. Even though I've had Zhao since his release, I finally looked at him, um, teapot lines, and he asks you on a date and says his karmic debt feels lighter with you. 
Oh, well, congratulations. Hi, Neoni. Uh, thank you, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Um, hi, Zai. That's like not what I wanted. Yao Yao makes it so they don't fly away. Oh, well, thankfully, thankfully I have some already. Let's see what we have. I have three, so let's make two. We're gonna do five in there, and then we're gonna spend the rest of our resin on some weekly stuff. Oh, or that wolf. I want to do that wolf boss. I want to do the wolf boss and Senor if I can, and then the wolf boss again. Okay, I'm coming now. Thank you guys for waiting. I'm sorry. Um, I just know I'm going to need a lot. I love watching you play so much that I don't even feel like I have to play. Slay! Hi, Darius. How are you? Hi, Maria. Um... Okay, let's start. Um, yeah, we're doing the highest level. You can't do wolf twice or any weekly for that matter. I thought the wolf wasn't a weekly. I mean, I haven't done, I haven't played all week. So regardless, there's something I can do. I knew today was going to be pretty heavy on dailies and housekeeping and stuff, but we haven't had a moment to, like, do that. I'm still going to try my best to get through this as fast as possible, but at least we can talk. I'm doing the wolf that, um, the wolf, Yao, not Yao Yao, Yunjin, Yunjin needs. Hi, Jimmy. The two strongest characters in the game is on the same banner. Miyoho said... Let's print some cash. <laughs> Why is Teb Naomi Campbell walking? <laughs> I hear everything. What about I see everything? What does that have to do with the story? Uh oh. Game audio okay? It looks like it. It could be turned down a little bit. Can you guys see my beard? I don't think you can. That makes me so sad. I did get some cool pictures though. I look really cute in the pictures. I can't wait to edit them. I know that I've been posting a lot of selfies lately, but it's just because I feel like really cute lately. <laughs> Sloth, happy Friday. How are you? Welcome. I just placed my order for some Pop Mart blind boxes. What are Pop Marts? Pop Mart blind boxes. We can, yeah. Okay, good. I put white and blue and dark pink in it. It looks really cute. I'm, I feel like I'm onto something. I've always been inspired by Drag Kings, but I have i don't know. I just wanted to find something that felt like it was up my alley in terms of aesthetics, and I feel like I'm onto something. Like, I don't... Uh, I've been doing makeup, I think, for... Now the audio's too low. I've been doing makeup for... Like, really, like, almost every day for, like, almost two years, right? And now it's too loud. And, like, I'm at this point where I feel like I can do makeup that suits my face, that reads well and looks quite good, though it's expressive. And I know it's not, like, clean girl makeup, whatever. I'm not a clean girl. Um, but, like, this beard thing has always been so fascinating to me. I think it's because I can't grow a beard and the control freak in me is, like... Well, you can just draw one on, but I really like the pink beard. I just, I don't know. It gives me a sense of power. My name was taken. Hi, welcome. Not a clean girl, not yet a messy woman. I would love Pop Mart. I'm not a clean girl. Not yet a messy woman. All I need is time. A moment that is mine. Do we have everybody in here? No. Noel is pretty. Pop Mart's are really cute. Here, let's, let me look them up. 
after I queue up for this dungeon. I just fully leveled my first character, had to give Navia that top girl treatment. As you should, Geo Girlies, that's what it is. Like, I love when the Geo Girlies stop by and say, hey, hey, Geo Girly, thank you. I'm so glad to hear that your Navia is fully leveled, babe. Um, oh, you're lagging today. You're good. Um, Pop Mart. Oh, my goodness. Those are so... There's a scary one that I just saw. Some of them are really cute. I don't like the Harry Potter ones. Um, that's like so my aesthetic. Oh my god. They need to make a fawn one. Everybody, let's start manifesting a fawn Pop Mart collab. I think that would be really cute. What system is this game on? Um, PC and mobile, I think. Uh, PlayStation as well. I saved like 40 fragile. I have a lot saved too, because I'm still like working on my team. I just finally got a team that I'm happy with. It's Noel, Fiorina, um, Goro, and Yunjin. Sorry, this wig's going to keep distracting me. Fawn, can you check pets tags real quick? Yeah. <laughs> the way he is watching. Oh my goodness. Hey. I love your haircut. Hi, kitty kitty. Oh, that's so cringy. I don't care. Hi, kitty. I love kitties. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just got so distracted. There's a kitty. Are y'all ready? Open the door. Um, I just want to level all of them up, but don't have the time. I understand, Pac. Um, hi, Fawn. I want to say thanks for making me who I am. You genuinely have inspired me so much. Oh, my... Okay, you don't have a name that I can read on TikTok Live Studio. It's, like, all boxes. But thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Um, thank you. <laughs> Party! <laughs> Open the door. I love that reference, Tub. I love... Every time uh, Trap Celeb posts one of his lives, he's so inconsistent, but his his lives are so funny. I'm just like, I'm frothing at the mouth, open the door. Like his lives are so good. When he posts them on YouTube, I always hope that the chat is still being saved because I love reading the chat. Even though the chat is just everyone spamming the same thing, the way he responds to the chat is so fun. I've learned lately, because I've been watching my boyfriend streams too, I'm such a lurker. I didn't really notice it until I started like watching other people's streams. Like I've been watching a lot more streams just lately, and I'm such a lurker in streams. I just like, I'm, I like people watching too though. You know, like I just, maybe I'm just like a freak. Are you a crazy cat lady? I have no pets actually. I am crazy, and the jury's still out on whether or not I'm a lady, but my name's Gabriel. Also, Katya's God. Um, yes. Yes. I think about Katya literally every day. The way I have to run my mouth in every chat room. <laughs> Are you a girl or just gay? <laughs> there is no escape. Open an order. I think that like my team every time we do this I feel like you guys work together and then I'm just like this Noelle running around doing whatever she wants I think I heal though right oh my goodness it's like life weaver everywhere I go I play the same role extremely cute healer oh I'm sorry support every time I get an overwatch video on my for you page it just evolves into people arguing over whether or not healers are support or, or support or healers or not. And it's like, y'all need to get off the game. Leave y'all are making my game not fun. I don't like y'all. <laughs> Noelle does stay having her ult up, Kev, because that's what we do. That's what Noelle means do. Like. You know? 
Overwatch stream won fun. Soon, soon, soon. It's definitely on the docket. It's on the docket. But right now we're on our Overwatch Stardew Valley Genshin Impact Pokemon podcast. Um, uh, Super Smash Bros. era. So, one day. One day. I play a lot of Overwatch, though, in my free time. But I'm such a competitive girly that it's so hard to play with me. I didn't play competitive when when the community got me back into Overwatch 2, right? Because I've been playing since, like, early days of Overwatch. But I kind of stopped. But the community got me back into it. And when I was first into it, I was just, like, playing quick play, having a good time. But I had to let the dog out. The dog is out, and now, I'm, now I sit in competitive lobbies like it's quick play. I don't care. I don't care if I lose rank. I don't care if I gain rank. I'm there for the real fight. Like, I, I love the rush. The rush. Putting it all on the line. All on the line. Your account is at risk. People are getting banned for either being too bad at the game or being bad mouthed. People are losing rank, gaining rank. It's the high stakes, the drama of it. That's theater. And I love it. 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 No pressure to look at um, all because you're putting in them streaming hours, but I did post the collection I'm pulling from Pop Mart in general. Okay, um, let's look. I want to see him. It's so hard though when I when I have to save for all f these five stars. I play free to play. Um, I haven't had an issue. Oh, oh my goodness, those are so good. I would want the one that's holding the leaf, or the frog, or the pink one, obviously. Okay. Um, so I want to do wolf. So sorry, guys, if you joined because you wanted to have fun. Um, I tricked you. We have to do one of the worst bosses I've ever experienced in video game history. Wolf. It floats in the air. Let's have fun. My character's melee, so. <laughs> Let's have fun. I'm having fun in comp because I'm winning right now. Don't talk to me on a losing streak. I've been on a losing streak since season nine started because... OMG, yeah, I love the wolf. <laughs> I've been on a losing streak um, since season nine started because I main Life Weaver. So um, at this point, I just like I just can't get back in a quick play when when I know I can lose it all. It's just it's not the same. I you know what? I know some people really enjoy quick play, and it's probably because you're like well adjusted. No, I need that rush. Hi, wolf. Oh, hi. Do you remember the rain? Sorry, CMB, you were talking about uh, rain for some reason. Um, and I was like, that one song is so good. All right, Navia. Um, Umbrella Warfare, I guess. Wait. Y'all ate that up. Oh my god. Umbrella Warfare, I guess. Y'all, we ate that up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if Senora wants to fight. Everybody's getting these hands today. Um, can I do that? Yup. Yup. Because I need this for Goro. Let's go, girls. The Navia effect. Hi, Neek. Your Genshin Impact journey has been so crazy. I remember when you were still a mod set, right, Kev? Like, look at us now. I'm over here, like, um, telling everybody to come carry me through these <laughs> bosses because I need, like, one drop for my Goro. Like, a couple months ago, I was like, oh my goodness, this character's so cute. They look like a cat. And now I'm, like, fully in it. I'm fully in it now. Um, I want to go ahead and just, like, crack open a moon. Get a little hit. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Okay. Y'all want to do level 90? Let's do it. We're all level 90, right? Let's do it. Me spending 460 resin for one good artifact piece. <laughs> yeah, I got to get that moon in. I love the, the, the smell of moon in the afternoon. Welcome back, Pack. I promise y'all we are gonna get started on some story soon. But you know, the girly pups gotta do some house housekeeping. I was using Anna and Torb and only had 1k damage, so the life weaver used his ult to hold. 
Well, the thing is, is like Lifeweaver's ult has a lot of utility, <laughs> and that's the thing about Lifeweaver. He's trembling. a utility support. He's really weak, but he also has a really strong hit if the if he can watch the team. The way that I saw somebody explain it, it's like playing. Um, it's like you get up on your pedal and you just look down. It's almost like playing like Dota. It's like you're like um, like controlling the field. I think Life Weaver has a lot to offer, and if they give him a little buff, or if the people start theory crafting in a way that like sort of embraces what he can do, I think the meta can change in his favor. I mean, I'm just saying though. I'll catch up. Who wants catch up? Until the widow snipes you. Well, he's got a good spray. Like you can spray um, at widows, and they they get scared off. At least in bronze, which is what I'm in. But see, like that's the thing is like when you're in bronze, it's just such a comfy life. No, it's not. I actually hate being in bronze. I don't deserve to be in it, but I'm there. Because, you know, God gives his toughest warriors to his best Overwatch players. And right now it's my job to, like, sort of watch all the soldiers who can't aim. Um, let me focus. Umbrella Warfare, I guess. Hi, Omoni. I do agree. If Life Weaver and Mercy are meant to be, like, full throughput healers... They need to give them something that can help them catch up because right now tanks take too much damage and they're putting way too much credit into the players, the random player's ability to be a proper tank with like the current way that the game runs. Um, it's fine though. Like there are many moments where I like really carry with my heals, but I, I know that I'm working way harder than some of the other roles. But that's uh, that's Activision Blizzard. They like purposely unbalance their game just to keep the meta fresh and keep people engaged. Like that's legitimately one of their like tactics for player engagement. Why is Ito here trying to be me? Ito, I'm the original. Like I know that you have the the meal uh, platinum blonde just like me, Noel. But I'm the original. Fawn, have you seen Jojo Siwa Karma video? No, I really am not interested in Jojo Siwa's Karma video. <laughs> That's what I think. It's just it's just such a bland pop song, and like, uh, I don't know. I just don't think this era has anything for me to to offer me when I have Cowboy Carter, Midas Touched by Kiss of Life, um, a lot of really great music. Um, ooh. Let's go back to the wolf. That one, it is a little bit of a catchy tune. Karma's up, I should have known better. Yeah, that song would have been better if it was a country song. And that's not me being a Cowboy Carter fan. It is. I liked Joanne too when it came out. I don't know, I'm, I'm a Southern gal. Karma's up, I should have known better. They should have had like, they should have given it some country twang. That would have been better. Umbrella Warfare, I guess. Time to clean up. Like, this wolf is so obsessed with floating in the air. Somebody get it down. Oh, my God. Hi, Loli. How are you? Why listen to Karma when you can be listening to Touch It Final Fantasy Remix? I listened to that damsel. You sent it to me. That was so wild. Every time they literally said Final Fantasy type beat. Okay. Um. How much time have we been doing this? How much do I have? <laughs> um. Oh, okay. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's do our commissions, and then we'll come back and do one more wolf. How's that? Maybe two. Maybe we can do like some commissions. Like I wanna do some exploration commissions, okay? And then like, once the cooldown's done, we'll come visit it, and then we'll finish the commissions, and then we'll visit it again. Okay, and then I'll be done extracting labor for free from you guys, okay? So everybody split up. Let me know if you find anything, or you can follow me around, I don't really care. I saw a, a chest over here though. Ooh. It's Electro, and I refuse to switch because I'm lazy, so skip. Here we go. Here's the chest. I'm doing great just doing my hair and skincare while cracking up. <laughs> Girl, the so anytime you guys 
fave Cowboy Carter track. I honestly, I think Alligator Tears is my favorite, even though, like, every single song was amazing. Um, I think Alligator Tears. I just think, like, um, something about those tears of yours. How does it feel to be adored? I just think that sounds so good, and the lyrics sound so good. Can somebody help me here? I can't beat them by myself. But, um... If you ever see me wearing a wig, Lodi, you're talking about doing your hair. It's because I refuse to do my hair. The process of doing my hair is I have to, like, co-wash it. So I have to, like, wash it with one conditioner. This is just the process that I have learned over time. I wash it with one conditioner. And then I put in some miracle water, like L'Oreal or something. I don't know what it does. It's probably ruining my hair, but it makes it, looks good. It makes it look good. And then I wash that out. And then I condition it with another conditioner. And I let that sit. And then I wash that out. And then I put leave in. And then I put gel. But I have to like curl each strand or else it's not going to look right. And it's so exhausting. Okay. I'm building physical DPS Goro as a passion project. As you should. That's really cool. I like Goro. I think he's a cutie. What's What server? Um, North America, I think. I don't really know how the servers work. That's not your real hair? No, this is actually not my real hair. I know that it resembles my real hair, but with the uh, sort of um, texture of straw. Um, but no, it's not. It's all an illusion, a perfect illusion. It was in love. It was a perfect illusion. That's what I'm saying. Gaga's going to be on the rock record for Beyonce. Gaga's been in her rock bag since y'all y'all like bullied her for making art pop. She said, "Okay, I just won't make pop music anymore." But Gaga's always been a rock star. She's always like referenced like Queen and you know a, t a ton of like rock stars. Um, she's always been influenced by rock. Okay, um, it's not back. Oh, can we get these too? I'm sorry. I need these for Goro. <laughs> Noelle supremacy, exactly. Fawn, how does it feel to be a door? Oh, hi Tristan, how are you? Okay, let's look for some more commission thingies. Where would where should we go? This area seems unexplored, so let's go that way. Thank you guys for helping me. I don't know. I think her name is Stephanie CMB. Stephanie Stephanie Germ. Oh dear. Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May I be excused to fetch it in? If you guys find anything, just let me know in chat. I know it seems like I'm just running aimlessly, and that's because I am. Okay. Goodbye and good night, everyone. Hope you have a great day. Thank you, Fig. Um sleep well and take care. Thank you, Fig. Good night, Ireland. Thank you for hanging out. Hi, Nifty. How are you? Here? Okay, Tab, I'm coming. You're a player, too? I'm coming. Thank you. How long have you been playing Genshin? Oh, girl, I don't know. The internet made me start playing it, and I just... I'm a level 90 Noel main. I'm slowly working on Goro and Yunjin in Furina, and it's like, I don't know when this started, I don't know when it's gonna end. I'm just here. I'm amazing, hope you're doing good. I'm doing good, thank you so much, Tristan. I'm glad to hear that. It's, um, it's good to do good. It's, I feel like we're entering, I know everyone's talking about it being like Mercury in retrograde, but is it possible that the chaos of all, all that is causing and ushering in a beautiful spring uh, or autumn for people in the Southern Hemisphere? Because I do genuinely feel like the good things are happening. I'm seeing it. I'm feeling it. I'm hearing it. I'm coming, Teb. I didn't know that I had a whole teleport over there. Are you going to pull for father? A lot of people are asking me about Arlecchino. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't know anything about characters. I don't look at leaks or anything because um, I'm a jaded old gamer. So I need as much novel and fresh experiences as possible. So I avoid any sort of like leak, drip marketing, anything like that. Because I just need the full experience when it comes. So I don't know anything about that character until the demo trailer comes out. Until the demo comes out. I'm not talking about the story. I'm not talking about... No. The demo trailer that shows the gameplay and the full action and like all of the hubbub and stuff like that. So I don't know anything about them. Um, you're player three. Oh, I found something here. Um, I'm going to mark this. I am so sorry. 
I'm like really, really chatty today, and I did not notice. I'm coming to Teb, and then we're going to go to that mark, and then, yeah, we'll we'll cross the other bridges later. Her demo should come out soon. Based off of everything that people have been talking about for the past like three weeks about all the Chino, they're going to be a really great trailer. Um, hi. Sar said here as well. Okay, I'm gonna come to you, Sar, after. What do we do? Oh, do I touch this? I must leave no stone unturned. First sword. Then ceiling. Oh. I hate these sealies. Why are they like this? Like, girl, where are you going? Fun fact, you can get rid of this annoying storm by doing a hidden world quest. I know, I just haven't done it. Sword for bigger quest line. I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. I have no idea what you're asking me to do. <laughs> um. Hey, Fawn, you'll never guess what happened to Finn. What happened? Hi, Cub. Arlequino? Okay. Do I need to go touch the sword? I'm focusing on doing main story quest because, honestly, new players, I would just recommend doing main story quest or else you're never going to catch up. Um, I do it later up here. Okay. Hi, Lauren. What happened to Finn, Cub? Finn and Maddie are ranking starters. Maddie said, I don't care if Qualcafault is gay. I don't like him. And TikTok suspended Finn. Oh, gosh. I just said that while I'm live on TikTok. Um... Okay, well, let's hope that I don't. I don't also have that happen. The other, um, yeah, that that's the thing is like you can't say anything that can be con seen as politically charged. Um, I'm trying to find you. Okay, here we are. Hi, Matero. All the Fatui Harbingers are named after characters in a famous historical Italian theater. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I assume you're going to take me to the other one, so I'm going to go and find you. I know that you're waiting, Sar. Thank you. Do you stream? Yeah, I'm on twitch.tv slash fawn. Come to Twitch for the full experience. Um, of course, if you're more comfortable on TikTok, feel free to enjoy there. But uh, Twitch has, like, if you really enjoy these types of, uh, this type of content, um, Twitch has a little bit more, like, of an ecosystem and things. You can have, like, a little avatar and stuff. I try to leave the stream for, uh, give people options, you know. Okay. Now what? That looks like something's going on. Do I go back to that sword? <laughs> it's known as Commedia dell'arte and it inspires a lot of their behaviors that one content creator Marco Meatball I was telling you about oh okay I got you he's classically trained Italian okay is that a rackish tilt what do I do now <laughs> I'm gonna go back to that sword 
Are you planning on playing Honkai Star Rail? It seems right up your alley being a turn-based game. I love that you know I love turn-based games. Um, yes, I do plan on playing it, but I want to get through the main story of Genshin first. Um, I'm gonna go to this sword and see what happens. I feel like, I don't know what's going on, Teb. It looks like we did something, but I don't know what this is linked to. Okay, I'm gonna come to Sar, and then we'll come back to this. I don't know, can I leave it? Wait, where did Teb go? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go to Sar. It must be quest locked. Oh, okay, that's fine. Well, at least now I know where all the things are at. Honestly, I don't really like Inazuma's like locking you behind like stuff based off of like really intricate three-hour-long quests. I love a three-hour-long quest with a lot of story, but locking it, locking player progression behind it is kind of um, it's kind of dumb when they don't explicitly tell you what you need to do. It's just kind of like it's there, and if you don't do it, um then too bad for you, but please make sure to play um, the other 15 hours of content in order to level up your character. That's the thing is like a lot of like your progress is intrinsically linked to like doing the story. So there's no option of like how you can enjoy it. Like you have to beat the story and leave like 10 world quests behind. And I'm just saying as somebody who plays Final Fantasy 14 for the past like seven to nine years, I can't remember when I started, um, doing that kind of stuff is gonna make the game age badly because new players are going to join and not do any old content. But it's fine. The TikTok likes are spring theme? That's so cute! Nice! I have to find Esok's grandpa? I want Esok to be lost. Okay. Let's see, what else do we got? Actually, let's go visit the wolf now. Does anyone is anyone else waiting on me before we go to the wolf? Let's see. It looks like Teb looks fine. It looks like somebody's waiting over here. So let's go visit player four and then we'll go to the wolf. At least we get pretty colors while grinding. Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May I be excused to fetch it in? Huh. I have something. Okay, I'm coming, textbook. And then after that, we'll go to the wolf. And then we need three more points of interest after the wolf, I think. And then we'll be done. At least with the commissions. Uh, we've been playing for about 40 minutes, but we, uh, 50 minutes. But we haven't um, done any story yet because I had a lot of housekeeping to do. So let me unlock this and then I'll climb to you, textbook. So yeah, it might be a shorter story day, but as long as you guys are having fun. Okay, let's go up here. Twelve. Uh, Friday next week is the 4.6 live stream if you want to do a watch party. Um, is If it's during stream, maybe, yeah. Um, I, I kind of, I have like a kind of strict schedule around my Genshin streams just because um, my partner is off of work and we kind of like to spend time together. Hey! Thank you. Okay. This is interesting. I'm not gonna go down here, but I was just being curious. Mm, such fair weather. Why don't we do I'm not going down work? here. Let's go to the wolf oh, now. What sort of work is that, you ask? <laughs> Did you clutch Redhorn for your no Noel? Is that the Ita weapon? I actually didn't because I was trying, I want to have as close to a mono geo team as possible, but Furina is so good for Geo and Noel in general that I pulled for Goro and Yunjin. I think it would be more beneficial for Noel to have a full party that actually has like synergy with her as opposed to just her having a good weapon in a party that doesn't work well with her. So that's the choice that I made. I would have gone for the weapon, but from my research and what people have told me, the weapon is a little bit more convoluted and difficult to get. And I'm a free-to-play player, so I wanted to make sure that my wishes 
had the highest chance of benefiting my main. But now that I have like a full team that works really well with Noel, I um, can now start looking at pulling for stuff like the weapon the next time I see it. If you get what I'm saying, you know? Like I know Nouvellet uh, is um, on the banner and a lot of people are excited for him. And I'm obviously gonna like pull for him because he's kind of cool, but I really, like if I get him, I probably won't put him on my team. Because I am so obsessed with Noel. Well, I'm gonna go wash my hair. Okay, Loli, um, good luck. Thank you for hanging out. I'll catch up. You switch out Yunjin for Ningguang? I don't have Ningguang, unfortunately. I like Yunjin, though. I kind of wanted Navia, even though Navia technically wouldn't be a good replacement. When her banner was up, I wanted her. Okay. Um. How much do I have left? Let's see. Wait, I can go to my map. I think I have enough left, right? You need 40? Okay, so let's look for... How many more points of interest do we need? I call them points of interest. Time. We need what three you more. You? Let's go adventuring. Do you take sugar? One cube or two? Um, let's go here. That second abyss team with Nahida, Yai, Nouvellet, and Healer Shielder would slap. Just lost my weapon banner, wanted Nuvi's weapon, but got Freedom Swarm. See, I don't want to feel that pain okay, yet. I'm still quite new. Um, so I, 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 I want to just like be a little bit more, I don't know, baby mode and just like have fun getting characters. I see a chest. Okay, uh, me and Teb found a chest. Sorry, you stay right there. Thank you guys for helping and hanging out with me. I love being able to grind and chat. I was talking to my uh, boyfriend last night about how much I love streaming. It's such a cool, unique experience to be the streamer. Like obviously, like I'm like keeping track of like things and stuff like that, but such a unique experience. And as somebody who's played games their entire life, like I can't really compare how cool it is to be able to like stream and play with so many people. Okay. Because I love playing games. Okay, let's go to Sar. Player 2. Player 2. Player 2. <laughs> Thank you, Mattis. I've been really into... I'm really inspired by, like, drag kings. And I'm not saying that my makeup is on par with drag artists. Because it's not. But I'm very inspired by it. And um, I really love looking at the different ways that drag kings draw on facial hair. I don't know if you can see it on TikTok. But I did take some cute selfies. Okay, Nilu. Sorry, giving me a little dance. That was beautiful. Okay, um, we need one more like chest or one more thing. Found one. Okay, let's go to textbook. That'll be the last one. Thank you guys. I think drag kings need to be featured as much as queens. I agree. I think um, I think it's a really valid form of art, and um, I love it. Okay, so we got all that. Let's go to the the wolf one more time, and then we'll be done. I could probably do some pulls. Maybe. Okay, everyone, I have a plan, okay? I'm going to explain it because I know there's a little bit of a stream delay. I want... Okay. On the count of three, we don't have to get the perfect picture, but on the count of three, you know that one moment where the, the, the wolf is slowly coming out of the portal. I want us to stand a little bit further ahead of the wolf so we can get a picture of it coming out of the portal behind us, like in the background. So on the count of three, I'm going to swing my sword and everyone just get into position however you can. I'll do my best to get a picture. If you okay. really like standing around like this, one, this is our ANTM America's Next Top Model challenge. One, two... Three. I will be streaming tomorrow, same time, Hatchy. 7 o'clock p.m. EST. Okay, let's go. Like, face away from it. Face away from it. Face away from it. Okay, everyone pose. Someone needs assistance. 
Navia understood the challenge. Okay. We got we got at least two people and me in it. <laughs> Teb was doing a move though. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Right, CMB, I think I I really hate the idea that like kings need their own show because it, it makes it seem like the skill set is different. It really is not. I mean they're doing different things, but they both draw from each other. And like everyone outside of television, like Drag artists outside of television all agree that drag kings and drag queens both are the same level and like sort of caliber of art It's just like a different flavor of it. Okay, let's do a picture and then I'm gonna kick everyone out because I want to get as many Primos as I can to see if I can do a pool today um, Ooh, there's something over there. I'm gonna mark it on the map It's like over here That's for tomorrow Okay, um just to commemorate the fact that we had to deal with this awful place. Everyone stand up here. I want to remember the day that I made my viewers spend one hour carrying me through um, about 200 points worth of resin. Okay, on the count of three, you can do something. I'll swing my sword if you want to like get a little pose or you can just stand, okay? One, two, three. Ooh! No, Sar's been eating the Navia. Sar's been eating that Navia. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to kick y'all out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would let y'all stay for pools, but I haven't played all week, so I don't think I have enough primos. I really need to hit Catherine up. And then we're going to start the story. We're starting the story right after the pools. Aller loves you, Fawn. Who? Thank you. I know you're still in Inazuma, but I'm gonna wish you luck when you get to Sumeru, because that we're we're through Sumeru. We're we're progging through Sumeru. I'm the I'm the Sumeru cowboy at the moment. Um, I just I do my exploration in Inazuma because I still have a lot to get from there, and I don't want to go to Sumeru just yet for exploring, um, because there's a lot to still get from Inazuma. Okay. Catherine, please give me some primos, girl. What a productive day. Thank you guys so much for helping. Teb, Sar, and Textbook, thank you guys so much for helping. I got so much done. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't claim the little presents. There. Add Astra. Thank you for completing Add extra today. app. So many things to click. I bet it's so satisfying for the mobile players to be able to click all this stuff. On PC, it's a little bit like, girl, just let me click one button. Okay. Let's see what we got. I know I have one blue wish. Oh, okay. I can get some of this. I can get one of these. I forgot it was a new month. One of these. Okay. Three wishes. Three wishes. We got to make them count. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's start with the warm up. Let's start with the warm up. Noel, Noel, Noel. Skip. Skip. That's good. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay. I want... Okay, honestly, I'm thinking about this banner. All of these characters I actually really like. I don't use any of them, but I definitely like them all. And I don't have Yanfei yet. I don't have Nanfei yet. <laughs> Nobody told me Nouvelle's banner is out. Nobody told me nothing! <laughs> Yeah. Another one, thank you. If I get Barbara, I'm going full solo DPS Barbara. Oh. <gasps> Who did that? Oh goodness. Y'all, I don't even have 50-50. Stop. 
Thank you. Okay, let's see how much y'all gave me. Hold up. Y'all are crazy. Oh my god. Who? Thank whoever you are. Thank you. Because y'all don't understand. I am a free-to-play player. I don't even know how much that costs. Thank you. I assume that's very expensive. Thank you. I got C1 Kaching today. Oh, that's cool, though. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Capitalism popped off. Not capitalism popped off. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Peter. Okay, well, here we are. We got 15. Let's do five, and then we'll do the 10, right? Well, let's do five, and then we'll do the 10. Um, here's here's my current history. I don't have 50-50, so remember, we did do two. So this plus two. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So we're going to have like 59, 64. I am very close. Wow. Okay, y'all. Let's go. I don't have 50, 50, but if I get Nuvi, Nuvi, I'll be happy. Um, Something about judgment, right? Yeah. Thank you, whoever did that. Hi, Antonio. Okay, I'll be fast. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, give me Yanfei. I want Yanfei. Oh. Is that good? I think I ask about that every single time. Scab. Nahida weapon? Oh, slay. Y'all know I love Nahida. That's my second um, team, Nahida. A Nahida team. I haven't worked on it yet. I have no idea who I need. But I've already decided my second team is Nahida. I say, like, my second team as if I, I, I'm not fully aware that I'm going to have to change things around. Sorry, this, this bothers me. I always have to get rid of the exclamation point. Okay, we're going to do 10. I just want anyone, whoever donated that, and anytime people do donate this, I just have to say this now because I keep telling y'all not to, but you do it anyway. <laughs> I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. But I am just, I don't, it doesn't, I don't know if I have to explain it, but it doesn't matter if I get anything. I really appreciate it, and it's just fun to pull for me, honestly. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm honestly, I like that. I do like Barbara. I really like Barbara. The only reason I've switched Barbara, y'all remember early when I started playing, how I was like really going off with Barbara. I love Barbara. I love doing like, I don't know what they call it, the taser teams. C6 Barbara can revive. Whoa. Go Barbara, go. Oh, I can get two more. Just wanted to say, I just got a number one victory royale. As you should. As you should. Yeah, go, Barbara, go. Yeah, go, Barbara. Go, Barbara, go. Okay, so let's get some more. Oh, my goodness. What a crazy day. Thank you to the donate do, do, donator. I am saving. So I know this, like, bugs people, but I am saving these because in August, I think Noelle's coming out, and my goal is to get Noelle to C6. So... But we can get this. Okay, three more. Go, Barbara, go. Hi, ants. Hi, Steph. Oh my goodness, we're so close. We're definitely going to get something. We're going to get something this banner, you know, because we're so close to something. Gimme, come on, I wanted one more purple. It's okay. 
Thank you to the, uh, the, the person who did that. Um, now I have Go Barbara Go! Here, here's my proof that I did play Barbara once upon a time. She's level 60. No. Yeah. That's her song. I wrote that for her. Slay, C1 Barbara. Another Mio girl has been constellized. Thank you. Okay, let's start the story. <gasps> Wait a minute. How much do I need? Oh, I need 160. Okay, there's no point in doing that. Let's start the story. <laughs> Hi, TikTok. We got a lot of people on TikTok, a lot of people on Twitch. We are starting the story now. For the next hour, we're going to be doing some Sumeru stories. So get a snack and like hang out if you want. Um, that's all the pulling I'm doing today. I love that the numbers went up on TikTok once I started pulling. Y'all are crazy. Y'all love the Gamba, don't you? Wait until the appointed time. I got to wait two days. Okay. Alice is quite literally Barbara's manager. I hear she's also scouted Enmix and Itzy too. And me. I used to actually work under Barbara's, the same label that Barbara was on, but I had to leave for creative differences. I wanted to release a country album. They didn't want me to, but I did just now release my country album last weekend. And, um, I was, um, I have like a sort of like front man for it. But I, I basically ghost wrote and produced the whole thing. Um, I just don't really like doing like the whole like promotion aspect, so I gave it to someone else. Let's go meet Sino in the desert. I'm gonna switch to Twitch. Okay, Mochi. C6 Barbara's queen. We'll get there one day. Alice is the most chaotic character. I can't wait for Fawn to learn about her. More chaotic than um, Yinger. She's Klee's mom. I love the desert. Oh my goodness. Uh, look at all the sand. Just feel the dirt, the dirt. The way the sand in dirt. Just feel that desert heat. The way it's sandy and dirty. <gasps> Wait a minute. What are we doing again? I just saw a bunch of muscular men, and I forgot what we were doing. Um, as agreed, you and the others gathered in the village chief's house and worked out a detailed plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali. Right. Once the course of action was agreed upon, the group split up. Okay. So we're trying to save uh, Nahida. Look at all that Geo. Over there! Our helpers have arrived already! Let's hurry over! <sighs> Wait a moment. Hi, Sino. You're my assistant, remember? Get... No, 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 no. I don't do assistance, Sino. Especially for someone who has attitude like you. We are working together. It's called a collaboration. Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. Okay, I'm waiting for you to do something. It's General Mahamadra I'm so sick of his attitude. We meet again. Huh. You're here early. Blossom, hi. Collaboration, something that even entry-level meal girls have to pa <laughs> have down pat. <laughs> it's to show how important we think the operation is. Oh god, this Lux and Barbo. They were yeah, yapping awesome. so much last week. Can we save Nahida? Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I would hope so. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Thank you, Pickled, for all the gifts on TikTok. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat. I'm ready for the combat part. Halt! Oh, what a warm welcome. What do you want? I have C1 on Nahida. Nice. Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. They graduated from the same Yap Academy as Yoimiya. I have to agree. Lux and Barbo needs to, like, settle down. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit Thank sales. you, Gay and Boring, for sharing the live. If you value... Who are you supposed to be? 
A matra from the academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. Pixie, I agree. I, I, it's not that I want it to be harder. I wish there was more, like, combat stuff outside of the abyss. Like, I would love to, like, play Genshin in, like, a Dynasty Warrior sort of setting. I'm not here to talk. Like, waves of enemies? Oh, nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, I also wish... let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. I also wish that there were more cosmetics and, like... Like, the hilly trolls would drop, like, a hilly troll mask that you could put on your characters. Like, the same way you can put wings on and stuff. I wish there was stuff like that. I would grind forever if I could get, like, hats and stuff. Oh, Slay! I get to fight them. Move. Strike a pop by Royal De Steady as stone, as a dutiful maid would. Let the world come on! Follow my lead! Follow my lead! Follow my lead! <laughs> Leave it all to me! Someone needs to pop! I'll catch up! Follow it! Follow my lead! Oh, it's a good night should! Follow my lead. It's over. Hi, Pat. I'm doing good. How are you? Sorry, new here. Who's your favorite character? Uh, Noel. I haven't played Genshin in a while. I just want Zhao. I keep missing. <laughs> You'll get him one day. <laughs> ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Right, like, Rose, like, imagine how much money they would make if they made more cosmetics. Like, it doesn't even have to be full outfits. Like, just give, like, hats. New wing, something. Ah, you pitiful dendro archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! <sighs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. Um. Yes, sir. Hi, Rai. Good morning. Is it morning for you? <laughs> I guess it is technically, huh? My forehead's itchy. Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. I honestly think that what happened with Genshin, the reason why they don't do it is because it's way too much overhead to make the like new skins. Like some games have character models that are already models and then there's clothes on top of the model that you can replace. Like it's like a shirt model that you can constantly modify and put on top of the model. I think Genshin's character models, you can see it here. You see how like this part looks like it's blended into the skin. It's like all one texture that they've painted on top of the model of the body. And like the pants aren't on top of the character model. They're just like part of it. So with that in mind, it's like you'd have to make it a completely new body model for every cosmetic. And with like the physics and the you know animations and stuff, I, I feel like they don't do it if they just make tons of money from banners anyway. Understood. You are dismissed. It's sad though. It would be it's a really big missed opportunity for player enjoyment, but there they go. Yeah, and it is cross platform. That's actually a really good um, point, Vike. Like it would be so big that you would have to like. Um, Sorry. TikTok makes you do CAPTCHA checks now. Let's talk elsewhere. It would be so big as you couldn't play it on everything. This part of the plan went really well. Yes. Things went perfectly. A Mega Musharna based on Nightmares would be really, really slay. That would sell, like, 
consoles. That's fantastic! And that punch you gave Ram on there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. No, I really enjoy this game, Omi. I love the story. I love the narrative. I love the references to Gnosticism. I love all the analogies and metaphors. Like, I love getting into all that kind of stuff. But I also really love video games. Like, I've grown up on so many, like, niche Asian MMORPGs. And Genshin's very much like that, except it's more of, like, a single-player experience. So I'm always speaking from, like, past experiences and, like, I don't know. I really like Genshin. It's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. That's why they fixed this in Star Rail character models. The Genshin character models look unappealing sometimes because their clothes are fused. Yeah. But, like, see, um... Genshin has a lot of good stuff, and, like, most successful game studios sort of follow suit in this regard, and, like... What's a good example? Um, Larian Studios with Baldur's Gate 3. Divinity Original Sin 2 was the game that came out before Baldur's Gate 3, and it very much followed the same sort of um, concept. It's like they're taking the Dungeons & Dragons tabletop game and translating it into a 3D setting. But like Divinity Original Sin 2 is a great game, but there's a lot of things they learned about it that made Baldur's Gate 3 the masterpiece that it is. So, like, as I've played this game and gotten more into the Hoyoverse community, I'm noticing the sentiment that, like, people prefer Honkai Star Rail more because it's a little bit Someone more put together. But I feel like they had to learn those lessons from Genshin, right? Because didn't Star Rail come after Genshin? The weird thing about how Genshin not having many skins to me is the fact that their older game, Honkai Impact, has multiple new skins like every patch. See, that's interesting. Maybe the older game's a little bit easier to do it? I don't know. It could also just be a completely cynical corporate thing where they just don't do it because they don't have to because they don't make money. They, they, they already make enough money. Like, their profits are already so big that they don't feel the need to do more. Sorry, I have like two chats going. Um, but Pat, I love Musharna. Musharna's one of my favorites. I love Muna. I think Muna's such a cutie. Dia! We're here! <laughs> it's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> and here you come rolling in late. So I imagine we're just helping every single person involved with their specific missions. So. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Well, Dia, I would love to get started on stuff too, because I just spent all this time talking to Sino and some random man that I don't even know to do some random stuff. I thought that everyone was going to do their own thing, but I guess everyone's just waiting around like you, drinking for me to do it for them. So are we going to do it or are we going to talk? Because, like, we can complain about things or we can actually lead by example and take action. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet My time attitude. getting here and we've got important stuff to take care of. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Hi, wrongdoing, by the way. The hardest part about Genshin skins is not everyone has every character, unlike... That's a good point. Maybe that's why they don't do it, because it's not guaranteed that they'll make money on those characters if, like... I bet, like, they have stats that show, like, the player base has certain characters the most that's probably how they choose what characters to do is like what characters are being played the most and what characters are on the most accounts uh but where should we start 
Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay, okay. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. That's a good point too, Pidgey, is like there's a lot of overhead in terms of making whole continents and world quests and all that stuff. Like they, they definitely have to allocate resources, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a team of people who have to figure out how to put this product out on a timeline. So, yeah. Yeah, we sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, he really gets by on the creeps. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. I think one of my favorite things about Dia is that she is so strong and they make a point to show how powerful she is. But she's also allowed to still enjoy things like clothes shopping and doing her makeup. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen her idol animation. According Hi, Damien. How plan, are you? We should first go to Pardis Di and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all hate them and Sino sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, right, depending Pidgey, on what I mean, we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. They are like a super successful company and Genshin's super successful. So, I'm almost certain that the reason why they choose not to add more... Oh, hi, Finn! <laughs> we're getting raided. Everyone on TikTok, we're being raided right now. Hi, Finn! How are you? So, like I was saying... Oh my goodness, I did the wrong thing. Let me shout out. I have. I always forget to do the at. Finn... Finn the Doodler. Um, How many people were scared? Uh, hi, Finn! Too. I was really, really scared. Hi, everyone! I don't know if you know me. I see, like, Purple Moth and stuff like that. I'm fine. We're playing Genshin right now, but I like Pokemon too. I don't know if Finn was playing Pokemon. I'm trying to find Finn. I'll respond to you in just a second, Pidgey. Are you on Twitch? I am on Twitch, Chulkiso. Hi, welcome. Twitch.tv slash fun. Um, sorry, I want to make sure I'm following you, Finn. Okay, here, let me follow you. Thank you, Finn. Um, feel free to hang out if you guys want. Thank you guys for the um, for the raid. Okay, so what I was saying was they probably choose to not add more stuff than what is currently in the framework and like the sort of service of the product. You get the new consonant. You get a bunch of characters every... Here's one thing. They do release characters quite often. That's It's kind of impressive to me. Um, you get new characters patch with like voice acting and stuff like that they probably could make a bigger team to make more stuff but i bet they make so much money that they don't really care to you know <laughs> the sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall i'll follow you as a bodyguard <laughs> you should be honored i don't offer my services to just anyone you know thank you for the confetti pickled Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. Um, Maple, I haven't seen Arle Arlequino's um, uh, demo trailer. I wait for the demo trailers to come out, and then um, that's certainly true. But when multiple employers then I decide if I want them or not. So I'm pulling on new new the best offer. Hmm. Let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. I was not sure we can afford it. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying? Hey, me congrats, with a smile? Maple. What do you say? Kaza is really cool. I like Kaza and when I first started playing the game, I was super into Animo, but I love Noel so much, and Noel kind of requires you to play more um geo based, unless it's Fiorina. Fiorina's basically like a geo character. Um but all the people who are raiding me right now, if you guys like Pokemon, I, I stream Pokemon at uh, 3 p.m. EST on Tuesdays um, and other days. But we've been playing a lot of other stuff lately, so. I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Dia, why are you flirting with me, girl? We need to do our mission. Like, what? Are, why are we still sitting here talking? smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Looking good. 
I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. Girl! <laughs> there are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Use code Dia for free whatever because she's fruity. Let's go. Ugh. It's time to pay a visit to Party Steve. Everybody, if you use code Dia, you will get in the mail a free Neo fruit gummy snack pack. Um, they're just now being released. Everyone use code Dia to get in the mail. You have to be a Neo on the meal mail list. The meal mail list. So make sure that you are also subscribed to the meal mail I'll list. If you're subscribed to the meal mail list and you text Dia to meal 800, you will get a free snack pack, meal snack pack gummy, meal fruit snack pack gummy, um, uh, uh, box. And... They'll, they'll have a picture of Dia on the front, a limited edition picture of Dia on the front. So when you open the bag, make sure to open from the top. Don't get nasty and messy with it because it's also a collectible. We have a, an exclusive meal, uh, Dia selfie on the meal fruit gummy snack pack that you can get using code Dia if you are on the meal mail list. Text Dia to Dia... Dia <laughs> The toad. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, and you are? Okay, Tainari. I'm so sick of the division between the gays and the lesbians. You need to be nice. Hey there. I can't say that on TikTok. God, it's just a joke, TikTok. Jeez. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. If I get banned, y'all know what happened. A mercenary? Hmm. You must have some big news for me. It's something really important. All right, then follow me. It's just the ops. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. <laughs> Pixie, I fear I got thrown into the well for the same. Re right, like it was just. <laughs> you can't even say it, like. All, all alphabet club, it doesn't matter, ally, uh, anybody, LGBTQIA+, like, even saying that is, like, scary. You can't say it, but, like, we are so used to just saying it casually, just as reference to things. Okay. Uh, what is okay, this let me important pay thing you want to ask me? Have you met the doctor? I want to know where he is. The doctor... Hmm. He's that strange looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Okay. Actually, he left Pardis DI just a little while ago. And y'all didn't take him down? <sighs> he left already? Yeah. He came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the academia. Okay. I'll answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. I love Tainari's look. He's so he has such a cool costume, like the boots and the he's so cool. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up. Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also mm -hmm. get straight to the point. Didn't I look this up a couple weeks ago? I said, what's Tainari's sign? I knew it. He's a Capricorn, right? That's what I. That's what we figured out. He was either a Capricorn. I'm looking it up again. He's a Capricorn, a December 20th Capricorn. The way that he said, I know intuitively that you're not here to deceive me. I just know that you're trying to let me know it's not my business. I trust you guys. I'm going to let, what do you need to know? I trust that you're not deceiving me, but it's also not my business. And like, that's so Capricorn. Like, just be upfront. 
The harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. Hypasia? Why would he want her? What is he after? Because the last I checked, Hypasia's sitting in that one little cave in the woods. Smelling smoke. That's the best way I can say it on TikTok. And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Well, the crazy thing is, is what's there to take away? Girl's gone. Yes. You he know, told mentally, me his return with all that to Snezhnaya is imminent. Hmm. So you mean you're leaving this place soon? Hypatia is a sleigh name. Hi, Chori. How are you? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. Tanari, we need to know where Dottori is since he has been selling unauthorized MLO estrogen medicinals. He would do it, wouldn't he? I was just about to set out when I remembered <laughs> something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis D.I. Hypatia could easily be a drag name. Let me ask. Have you been okay, taking Finn. care of a scholar by the name of Don't worry, Papasia? Finn. Let, take it from me as somebody who's been taken down from TikTok. It's just like, if, if you can't appeal it, it's just like a week from the time that you got taken down. They'll let you back up. And it seems as though you got a lot of people who are still going to follow you wherever you go. I'm sorry about that. I know how that feels. I just wanted to let you know. But thank you, Finn, for the raid. And I hope that you have a good one. Please get some rest. Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you've recruited many informants. But you're right. Hypasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? How's the treatment coming along? It's funny that y'all are talking about this because the doctor seems really interested in how the treatment's coming along. Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hypasia to Snezhnaya. To do what? Mm. It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh, I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. Look, How unbefitting. I know because when I saw the trailer, my chat blew up a little bit. I saw like a little bit of this and that. And whenever I post videos about Genshin, it, and I, and any time, the doctor could be mentioned at all whatsoever and then like twitter all of the internet i know that this character is really contentious because of the things that he's done narratively um i'm not here to make a comment on that i just want to say his outfit is really really punk like well you're the only one when we get a, ever made like look at the request. details i have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey in addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Wait, wait till we get a zoom out of the boots because I love the boots. The pants with the boots combo and the long shirt that goes... Yeah. Look at the details! Oh my goodness. Okay. Hypasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Cub, I know that you said something about view count. I wanted to comment on that, but we're in the middle of a cutscene. Um, you guys did raid me, so thank you so much. And Cub, you've been watching for a really long time. Like I keep saying this. Everyone who watches TikTok and Twitch, you guys are literally the reason why we have such a fun party. <laughs> so thank you. It's cool, though. Like I love it. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. He said skip. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that just like yeah. many other scholars, exactly. he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. So what Tainori just said, um, he said, yeah, I met him and he had the audacity to ask me to transfer a patient to Shneznaya, knowing full well that he is a nefarious individual. And I said, Skip, I detest your arrogance. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's confident in himself and his abilities to a point of near insanity. 
Right, like he really, he's trying to give people botched BBLs, and it's like, I'm sure that he could do a BBL, he is a doctor, but, oh my goodness. Just because you believe in the vision doesn't mean that everyone in Sumeru should. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. Thank you, Stella, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Stella, I really appreciate that. I hope anything that you want in life also happens for you. How about that? I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. The silence. Crickets. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. No wonder Hypatia was acting funny. The silicone in her BBL popped and went into her brain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. Yeah. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. The Tori is giving like older, older gay. Like he's already experienced twink death. Um, and T Tignari hasn't. He was like, um, I don't know. Just the vibe that they have when they're talking to each other. You know, you can tell they're both queens. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I I can't leave. say- I'm sorry. Thank you, Stella. It's just as the Academia said. You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, look at the boots. all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. It's like a cowboy boot. That's why- that's why I liked it, because it it's kind of like a cowboy boot. Okay. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. I don't know. I can get why people are so mad because he is a very nefarious character, but he kind of eats. His vibe and outfit. I can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From if I like tone, that, I'm gonna love Arlequino. I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> it is gooey. It really is. No, you're like absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. Sorry. I can My supplementary it light myself. always runs out That's on Friday. That's true. The situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Sorry we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. Uh, to be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Aren't they like hinted at being like recently my master wrote several letters I can't to me, say it asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Hep oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and the tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a Thank sunny you, day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years. But Whimsical, I didn't find right? Any yeah. Dots okay. in his recent letters. I believe something may have happened to him. Huh. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the academia to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me, if you can keep yourself safe. Please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. 
I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. They have so much whimsy. They they do. If they the do. higher ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. Like, I'm sorry. I know some people really hate when like the girly pops. That's the word. When the girly pops read into things. But look at the proximity between these two characters. Like they literally are talking as if they are in a situation ship like they are like up close like talking because like that's that's his man <laughs> like when i'm talking to my man i get up close because we have things to talk about i don't know if the situation becomes critical i'll leave the academia if you don't see me there for an extended period that's your cue <laughs> they're leaving very little room for jesus and lots of room for whimsy all right we've got a plan I'll stay at Gandarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. I know what I'm doing. On that note, Aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes. But my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was Look a at student, this bar. I was worried that he'd get in trouble for sticking to his <sighs> beliefs. No, because I know a lot of people can make a wig like this, but somebody... It's the dark green into the balayage of the light, like the teal that, like... It's a it's not a black hair. It's a dark green hair. It's not brown. It's dark green a dark dark green hair and there's a balayage into a teal and then fully bleached fully bleached and recolored pastel green inside the bob and right at the front. That's the bob. Mio did such a good job on this bob. That's a That's a bob by Mio. You know? I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. Everyone use code MIODENDRO to get the Tinari. We're, we're, we're marking down the Tinari. You can get the Tinari for 20 bucks. The 20 buck Tinari, use the code MIODENDRO. Dendro Mio. Either one works. I see. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all of this. In which case, Here, I must let me take keep it. my promise and help you however I can. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. You need to you need to go talk to your man. It's been a couple weeks. Y'all have not talked in a while. I know we're like busy like trying to do subterfuge in the political system, but you need to go to, I don't I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Yeah, CMB, it's springtime, you know, springtime we all need to update our bobs. One thing about Mio Enterprises, we understand the need for a fresh bob. So that's why we're marking down the, just the Tinari, the Tinari bob. We got a surplus. We purposely bought more um, Mio Green 40 as well as Mio Teal 10, um, as well as the Mio Dark Force Green 92. We have we bought it wholesale from our manufacturer, so we have enough to be able to do the $20 Tinari. Um, so we're hoping that we're able to sell out. We don't want a surplus, but if we do have a surplus of the dyes, please look forward in quarter three. Mio Green dyes, Teal dyes, and... Um, the dark forest green dyes might be on sale if we're unable to get through the Tinari bobs. But I, I honestly think the demand for the Tinari, the $20 Tinari, is going to outsell. So, Thanks. Thank you, Jem. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. Love the Bob Tinari. I 
I have to update um the According emotes Tainari, on TikTok, the doctor huh? is leaving Sumeru soon. I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. He also Are the ears said included? that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. The ears are not included, no. You can get... We do have the Cosplay by Mio that we just opened this past Sunday. Cosplay by Mio. Um, you can get a very high quality um, Tinari ear set. Because I know not everybody is a half fox boy. Um, so we do have that available. Um, we will customize it to the texture of your hair. Just make sure to use um, the code. What, what's the code again? Mio. Cosmio. That's what it is. Cosmio. Use code Cosmio and we will be able to hook you up with an exclusive custom texturized Tinari ear set that will match the texture of your hair and blend well for I think it's $2,000. So go ahead and do that. If you don't use the code, it'll be $2,001. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. It's a tax thing. But we have no idea where he went. How can we start chasing him? We'll do it the mercenary Leave them? Way. Okay, Jim. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just... You <laughs> use Mio Cosplay. That That's actually the older code. To cover his trail, but he still left some traces. Let's go find the doctor, girl. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. You're going to need an Excel yep. sheet for all the codes? We're headed in the right direction. Well, if you join the meal mail list, mm. they'll go ahead. They, the the meal mail list fresh. always comes with a no two gigabyte entourage. PDF document we that has all of the hurry. existing codes. Um. Hmm, it's just as I thought. I don't know if you guys know Tati Westbrook, the makeup artist, the girl who did this drama get in with James Charles. She, I watch her content a lot as a comfort content because I just love her I speaking voice and I love when went. she puts on makeup. <laughs> yes, bye sister. But she has a mail list. I'm not part of the mail list, but I think it's so like, um, like campy, like campy influencer. It's called the Tati list. And every video now, she says, guys, make sure to join the Tati list. I'm so passionate about the Tati list. And I'm like, Slay, you better make a mail list, girl. Everyone, normalize making your own mail list. I need everyone right now to make their own mail list and start like telling people, join my mail list if you want updates on me. The Tati list. <laughs> Tati. <laughs> to the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems to be where they're headed. The meal list, you have to text meal 8262 um, to get to be automatically subscribed to the meal list. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. <laughs> the Mio mail list. <laughs> the Tati list. Please join the Tati list. I love that. That is so campy. I want to get to a point where I can have the the fawn list, the fawn mail list, and I'll just like send like random, just completely irrelevant crap, just um like a letter that's just like, hey, <laughs> thanks for joining the the fawn list. <laughs> There's a new anime called Mio Note. Nice. Text Mio to 8,262. <laughs> like, could you imagine the power? Just like a uh, it'll it'll cost me money to do it, but I wanna I wanna get to a point where I can make enough money to do that. And you just you just send stuff out. <laughs> Be careful not to get a meal code mixed up with an MLO code, as in doing so, you'll get a 9,000- a 900% upcharge. You're right, Pixie. Shh! Don't draw their attention. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Girl, I'll draw all their attention and take them all down. I fight them every day. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell oh, ceremony caught. for a SNES 9 Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. 
I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke. Look, the two pesadillas tracking skills seems we found the right Sorry, I was reading something. I got charged and upcharged from MLO because I accidentally put in the wrong code and now I can't pay my rent. Is there a Mio GoFundMe? GoFundMe? There is um, a GoFundMe, but it's only for Mio girls. And in order to be a Mio girl, I think the new sort of um, requirements is to have 3 million followers on all social media accounts. Not in total, but on each account. You also need to um, average, I think, at least... Three thousand dollars of sales a day in the affiliate program, and then you can become a Mio girl. Um, and then Mio girls have access to the GoFund Mio. Um, so get in contact with Mio girls at Mio.com and they'll ho hook you up. Shh, don't draw their attention. The port is crawling. Okay, Let's keep going. how do I stay away from them? Now I have to walk this right through is it. A proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnai and Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has me walking through the him. bushes, girl. It's always like that when you spend too long away. What's that game, home. Thief? When he gets back that to one Snezhnaya, stealth game everyone perhaps loves. Perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. And me and Fortnite. Also, for some <laughs> reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. Hitman. Who's that? That the tall one. Can I get caught by him? I bet I I shouldn't, huh? Okay. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. Okay. Where am I going? Oh. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. You standing in plain sight and them not seeing you makes my day. So the doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru. But could it really be that simple? Are we sure he's not planning something? <gasps> Him waving at us. That's how you know he's a girly pop. That's so messy. That's so messy and petty. Huh? It, is he waving at us? Girl. Girl, Dia. I know that. I know. I know that you aren't like. I know that you know when like a girly pop is around. They're all over the place in Tavat, I've noticed. But this is an, an, an advanced case. Dia, let me handle this. It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? I, I'm enjoying the story a lot, Comet. Um, somebody told me that they think, I think it might have been you. They think I might be finishing the story tomorrow. I'm going to go a little bit longer, though, because we did spend some time, um, at least until it feels like a good stopping point. Um, because we did spend some time doing dailies. Uh, you mean, there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago. But now, they vanished. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can comment. Let's see. <sighs> so Let's this keep was it going. a trap. But there's nobody around us, Dia. Oh, I'm so used to the likes of like Toma and like Venti and like Kazuha. They're just simple little girly pops. But this is a very advanced girly pop. It's even outside of my caliber. I'm intimidated, Dia. There's no one around us. What do we do? Wait, 
Don't tell me that. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Hi, Neil. Oh, no. Uh-oh, Dio, what? They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Huh? What do you mean? Hapasia at once connected her consciousness to the Balladeer. <gasps> I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh, no. Are you saying they're going to kill her? Fawn, my cat just gave birth. Oh my goodness, everyone on TikTok, put a cat emote, put one of like, if you're a subscriber, put one of the kitty emotes, or just do something, because Neil can see it on the, the TikTok stream. They're going to see your avatars do a little cat thing. Neil's cat just gave birth. Tell your cat congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. You're a grandparent. My cat is literally skitty. It would be. You wouldn't have any other cat, Neil. Your picture is that are you is that still you in um I always think that you're at the Renaissance tour in that picture. I assume that you are. Maybe a glam meow now. Uh tomato tomato. Did the same thing. Okay. Let's go save Hapasia. Miss Girl is like... She doesn't even... I know Hapasia's... How do I... Let, I guess I can spell it. Hapasia is H-I-G-H. Like, place you off her rocker. She has no please. idea what's going on. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius D.I. for research purposes. Why does he do... This is what I look like when I try to do a drag king look. <laughs> but you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Pardisti now, I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. Going to Beyonce's birthday party at the Renaissance World Tour. I mean, doing it on her birthday is so crazy. Didn't somebody come out during that time? I saw Beyonce during the Beyonce era and she came out and did, um, it was raining. So they had to cut the short, the show short, but right before it ended, she came out while it was raining to she, cause she said like, they were like, sorry, we have to end the show, but Beyonce is going to do this thing just to make up for it. And she came out during the rain and did the famous chair dance in the rain for us. Life changing the way Beyonce can command a stage. That woman is so talented. Okay, I lied. I think you're a little earlier than I thought, so that you would have to stream for four hours. Oh, I can't do it that long. Let's go for like 15 more minutes at least. I may be staying okay. at Pardis DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. Oh, it was like years ago, Neil. Um, I don't want to reveal the location, but it was raining. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Okay, Pixie. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. I know that bow was so pretty. He was like, I'm gonna get you with my bow, my pretty bow. Don't make me. <laughs> Are you all right? Girl, I'm let's fine. do it. These Petunias have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. What did he say? Uh-uh. Why am I lagging? Hello? 
Girl. What's going on? Why why are my frames dropping? It's because I'm doing it too hard. Like, it's, I'm so good at this game. It's taking so long for my CPU to process this type of data management. My numbers are so high, my computer can't even do it fast enough. It can't even calculate this damage. Nahida's. I see everything. Are they done? Oh my goodness, they're so obsessed. They are so obsessed. It's like, what? I don't care what kind of shields you have. I'm a Noel main. Literally, watch me put up a shield and just keep hitting until you go down. Like, that's the meta. I'll heal it. I'll shield it. I'll ignore every single mechanic in this game. And then you're going to lose. Uh, we're not getting anywhere. Don't Traveler, be alarmed. The DJ is conduct. Please go to Hapasia. We need to make Do sure they don't try alarmed. to sneak around and attack from behind. The DJ booth is conducting a tr tr troubleshoot test of the entire system. You can't let the MLO agent snatch Hapasia out of rehab fawn. She just got off of the MLO. <laughs> Hapasia, don't worry. You will stay safe in this custom meal Airbnb to... Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened to Hapasia. Hapasia went to go get... A BBL. She thought it was BBLs by Mio. It was BBLs by MLO. The rumor was that Mio was opening a plastic surgery clinic, a beauty clinic. Um, and Mio actually decided to not do it because what Mio wants to do is go against the grain while everyone else is opening up clinics. Mio was like, what if I opened up a rehab facility? Not only to heal people from botched MLO procedures, but also to heal people from within. So they don't have to go for cheap MLO procedures. So this is all a custom built um, Airbnb by Mio in the Mio Rehab um, Resort. We keep this under locks because what we want to do is make sure that our clients have privacy. When, when you check into Rehab by Mio, we have a specific marketing PR team that will send out headlined um, bulletin boards on all Akasha devices, mail letters to your loved ones and acquaintances. Um, we pull out all the stops, emails, everything. And say, for example, for Hapasia, we told everyone that Hapasia was going on an artistic respite in order to, you know, come to better conclusions about Irman soul and that kind of stuff. She's really recovering from a botched BBL, but we want to make sure that she has the privacy as well as the the marketing public relations face that is deserving of a Mio customer. So right now we have removed the silicone BBL and MLO really wants to get her back to use her on their Instagram to sell more hashtag BBLs by Mio, but we will not let that happen. Janik, I don't need the best and cheapest viewers. I need the worst and most expensive. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? <laughs> well, how is she? She's recovering nicely. She's sound asleep. Oh, that's good. Hi, Ocean. So... You think this is over? Oh, not him again. That voice. The balladeer. 
that crooked bob. I can, I can smell it from a mile away. What? The balladeer is here? Scamalouche. <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. Why are you being so dramatic, girl? But, uh, where is he? Paimon can't see him. So is he a, a spirit? A ghost? Wait. Is it because I made physical contact with Apasia? Is the balladeer in her consciousness? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. And I can smell your nasty bob. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Parties DI and made contact with Hapasia. What did you do to Hapasia? I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness. You think he has a crush on me? <laughs> uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. Paimon is literally so embarrassing. She's like in, like in the other like side in the shadows, like screaming. <laughs> She's like, "Are you? What's going on, Bestie? What's going on?" <laughs> I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why, Balladeer? If you wanted to be a Mio girl, you could have just contacted Mio at Mio.com. You have the following. You have the commission rates. Why are you doing all of these secret things? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Balladeer, you have everything it takes to be a meal girl. Why would you choose MLO? Hey, Traveler! Paimon, please stay quiet right now. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. You want it all for yourself? Instead of sharing the glam and beauty as a meal girl, a hashtag meal girl, you just want to be the only MLO boy. Balladeer, I have to let you know this is not the way. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. But I have the Geo Archon Noel right on my side. She's in my main team. You won't be able to beat us. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? I will be battling you, Valadir. Like, Nahida is... She's... No, it's never been a question about that. The Academia acted even faster than we thought. Scholars consider the God of Wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. The Balladeer, you've been truly scammed by Academia. Academia has been going through a secret sabotage that they aren't even aware of by MLO. MLO's been infiltrating them for years. This idea that spiritual knowledge is, inval is not valuable to a, a community of people is false. You should be able to worship whatever you want. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. So yes. What is it? You're acting more friendly than usual. Or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why yeah. I'm talking to you like this. His look does kind of eat. Kind of like, look at this angle. The shorts. That hat is so drag. Like, okay. If drag kings are allowed on drag race, someone has to do a balladeer look, right? Look at that hat. Anyway, I'm supposed to not like him. But are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? The Academia plans to infuse your consciousness with divine knowledge capsules. That is extremely risky, even for MLO standards. Even if the Academia's theories are correct, and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You will become the new Greater Lord Rukadevata for the Academia. Thus losing all of your control, thus being a puppet 
for MLO. Even if it means losing yourself, you would still want to become an MLO boy? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. All Mio girls have godlike beauty, babe. We can share that equally. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. But the balladeer, if you are the canvas that you say that you are, why would you taint it with infused MLO BBLs? It's already sagging, I can see it. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? You wouldn't understand what it's like to be a Mio girl, I don't think. As much as you have the look, and as much as you have the vibe, and the commissions, and the social media following, you just don't understand the gag of it. I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking, and sense the depth of your determination. And whoever did your bob doesn't have any sense of depth. It's all one length. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Thank you, Ty. Humans Thank you for saying that. I'm doing that good. I hope you're doing good. Bliss in ignorance. If that's truly what you believe, why did you keep so your connection with Hypatia? Surely the power you've come to possess, with that power, you can cut her off with just a thought. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. So if you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. Are you telling me you're starting a new social media campaign? All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. Is that so? Just one follower? Baby, Mio girls have at least three million on every social media account. That's not... You ain't gonna become a god if you can't outdo an influencer. I'm just, that's what I'm saying, like... You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. If you truly cherish your one follower, you should protect her from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? You do. It seems like the doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and recover from her MLO BBL to continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little suspicious? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Well, he doesn't think he's hurting them, but he keeps putting BBLs in them just like he put one in you, girl. Do you not feel the pain? The weight in your lower thigh? Because the silicone's dragged down? Doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sewing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself He's a puppet capable girl. I don't think he has sense interfering at all. in the business of the new god. You're still too naive <laughs> if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift. Just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. Baladir, I don't know if you understand this yet, but I'm a Mio girl. 
I don't do MLO. Do not gift me any free products. I refuse to do PR. And if you send any PR to my mailbox, I will post an exclusive video dragging the brand once again. I do it every single day. Don't make me do it again. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. The look on your face. What are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Tag yourself in this situation. I'm scared. Paimon. Paimon literally was just sitting there like, really um, scared. what's going on, James? <laughs> and then like thunder just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, he be he's become milder, Paimon. I think that migrating silicon is doing something to his brain. It's much like when the duke duke in your diaper migrates down your leg and the mood changes in the room. Uh, where is the storm headed? It can't be. Is the ballader using the gnosis to change the weather? That means anyone outside is in so danger. As Megan the Stallion, Vatty Archon once said, they hating on BBLs and walking around with the same scars. I believe that was about Scamamouche. <laughs> no, King, that is exactly what Paimon was like. <laughs> okay, so after this little sequence, we'll be done. But something's happening. I gotta go outside. This reminds me of that one song. I'd rather it goes I'd rather be dry but at least I'm alive it has that one girl um, Stephanie Germanata and what's her name it's a really famous duet in the LGBTQ community It's by Stephanie Germanata and Ariana But Buttera. Oh, have the Fatui retreated? Hold up. I somebody said Frankie Grande and I just want I just want to look up Frankie Grande's Wikipedia real quick. I know this is such an aside, I'm so sorry. I want you to know that Ariana Grande's real name is Ariana Grande Butera. And Frankie Grande is such a <laughs> such a pop star. I don't care what anybody says. Frankie Grande is a pop star in his own right. He changed his stage name to sound just like his sister's when his real name is Frank James Michael Grande Marchion. <laughs> he said, oh, girl, you got famous and big. What's your last name? Ariana Grande? I'm Frankie Grande. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Slay? <laughs> hey, what happened to you? Any insight as to whether Mia was planning to enter the food grade glycerin market, <laughs> a glycine market, and act as a competitor to Dong Hua Jing <laughs> food grade glycine? Okay, so this is actually really funny. Right when that video came out, I think what happened was is uh food grade glycine from Mio Mio Industries was like literally about to hit the market it was testing with the fda so it could enter the market and then suddenly this whole campaign on tiktok started happening with dong wa jinglong and i think that they're scared of losing um business because mio's like on to something new um they've really updated the quality the taste profile we've we've tested some protein powders um with food grade glycine in it and let's just say it's the sweetest we've ever tasted. Um, so look out for Muscles by Mio. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I didn't want to. I didn't want to reveal it too soon. But Mio will be entering the um, 
the protein powder market with food grade glycine. He's hurt. I'm fine. <laughs> Ow. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Yes, Teb. Um, Mio is exempt. She has the exempt code, but as a sort of um, effort to show how much Mio loves her customers and wants to show that she will never, ever, ever cut corners, she still does the approval process. Because she wants to put that on the box to say, look, I know that I put out good quality products all the time. I don't need, I have the exemption, but I'm still going to do it every way. Anyway, to show you every single time, we will always improve and never cut corners. Struck by lightning? Don't ever make me a CEO. If I woke up tomorrow and someone said that I was a CEO, I would run that business into the ground, literally role playing. <laughs> we were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. You know, I used to know a lady who said that she would strike twice when she didn't like people. That normally means that she would just strike them until they weren't around anymore. But this is actually the balladeer. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Why are you sorry? For a premium price, of course. <sighs> it's all right. I'm sure you also never expected this to happen. Don't blame yourself. I mean, look at the rain, look at the lightning. Both of these Mio ambassadors here have been fighting, dodging lightning and all this stuff. Hair is so perfect. Hairspray by Mio. I'm telling you, the Mio dyes, they don't bleed. They they lock into the hair. Um, My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia all right? Strike twice, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case, <laughs> let's go to Hapasia's place and talk about things there. Okay, that's what we're gonna stop. Wait, can we? Okay, um, can I leave? Does anybody know? Is this like a thing like it was with um, the storyline in Sumeru? With uh, Samsara that I can't leave? I'm fine? Okay. I would keep going, but this is gonna... I think there's like two more hours left of story. So, I'm gonna get off of TikTok first. Let me, um, wait, do I have anything I can spend? Let's see. <laughs> Y'all know I love to do a little. No, okay, maybe tomorrow. Okay. So we might, we might be able to beat it tomorrow, but if not, that's fine. Y'all know I just like being in the, the watch party for the sake of it. It's just so fun. All right, TikTok, I'm going to get off of here. I noticed that we had we had a lot of people at one point, but we still have some lurkers um, hanging out. Thank you guys so much on TikTok. I will be here tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. EST. Um, we're going to keep pushing the story. I'll try to get my dailies done before so we can get a lot of story time in. Bye, TikTok. Everyone's saying bye. That's so cute. Bye, TikTok. Thank you guys on TikTok. And thank you, everyone, who gave gifts on TikTok and shared on TikTok. I know some people went over and gave it a little bit of love i appreciate that i don't really i'm off of tiktok now i don't really want like growth on tiktok because i don't <sighs> tiktok is really great for reach but i just don't trust the platform in terms of like how they treat their creators so i don't really mind low numbers on tiktok streams because i just want to leave it there for people who don't want to twitch you know um Isn't TikTok going to get banned? They thought, I, I apparently I thought it was going to, but then they just stopped talking about it. So who knows? Let me look that up right now. I got the internet right here. I got Frankie Grande up on Wikipedia. I need to be looking at real things. Is TikTok still getting banned? It's just like... Literally, okay... TikTok ban April 2024. Can I get some? There's there's literally no news as of March. Latest updates on the U.S. Okay.
there's no information. There's no information. Girl, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Anyway, if they ban me on TikTok, I'll just like pick up a job at, um, I don't know, someplace part time and I'll just start posting on YouTube and we'll run those numbers up and we'll get back to normal. <laughs> anyway, uh, remember to ride the horse of life, everybody. Um, YouTube shorts era. YouTube shorts don't pay. That's the thing. TikTok does still, you know, um, but YouTube videos pay. Subscribe to my YouTube link in bio. Look up Fawn. Look up Fawncast. You'll find my channel. Subscribe. Um, so let's play Sneaker Night, and I'm gonna head out. Entering your cowgirl era to next stream. It's gonna be really fun. I love my my cowgirl era or cowboy era. Clock the um the beard. Doesn't that look cool? I'm giving anime um I'm giving um anime. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Oh my goodness, this wig itches. Okay, um, I want to play Magnetic by Illit. Sorry, I want to play Magnetic by Illit. It looks better on other cameras. It's very, it's kind of hard to see on here, but I did take selfies, so get ready to see some uh, cringy selfies later. All right, um, please have a good one. If you're at work, I hope you have a good rest of your shift. If you are studying, um, don't go too hard. If you're just hanging out, keep that going, babe. Um, yeah, have a good one. Um, let's start the battle roulette. And I'm out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. I changed the song because everyone told me to stay on Luna. So boom.